Do you know the signs of autism spectrum disorder in children? This is a crucial question, as early recognition can make a world of difference. Autism spectrum disorder, or ASD, is a developmental disorder that affects communication and behavior. It's often referred to as a spectrum because of the wide variation in the type and severity of symptoms experienced. From mild to severe, these symptoms can manifest in countless unique ways. So, let's dive into the signs and symptoms to help you identify this disorder early in children. What are the early signs of autism in infants? This is a question frequently asked by those who wish to understand the early indicators of autism spectrum disorder. Some of the signs may include an infant not responding to their name by the time they reach 12 months of age. This could be an indication that they are not developing social skills at a typical pace. By 14 months, if an infant is not pointing at objects or things of interest, this could be another early sign of autism. As we move forward, by 18 months, most children engage in pretend games. If an infant avoids these types of games, it could be a cause for concern. Avoiding eye contact is another sign, as is having delayed speech and language skills. These are some of the early signs, but it's important to remember that every child develops at their own pace. What about signs of autism in toddlers and older children? As children grow, the signs of autism may become more noticeable. One of the common signs is repetitive behaviors. This could be anything from hand flapping or rocking to repeating certain words or phrases over and over again. Additionally, children with autism may show an intense interest in certain topics, such as numbers or facts about a specific subject. They can become deeply engrossed, often to the exclusion of other activities or interests. A change in routine, even a minor one, can be very upsetting for children with autism. They often need to follow the same schedule or routine every day to feel secure. Social skills may also pose a challenge. This can manifest as difficulty understanding other people's feelings or trouble talking about their own feelings. It's important to remember that every child is unique and may display different signs. Noticing these signs early can lead to a more effective intervention. So, what should you do if you notice these signs in your child? Well, first and foremost, remember that Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD, shows itself differently in every child. The signs we've discussed are not a definitive diagnosis, but potential indicators that your child may be on the spectrum. Early detection of ASD is crucial for effective intervention. The sooner you identify and address these signs, the better the outcomes for your child. This is why it's so important to be aware of the early signs, as well as those that present themselves in toddlers and older children. If you suspect your child might have ASD, don't panic. Instead, take a proactive approach. Consult your child's healthcare provider and share your observations. They can guide you on the next steps, which may include getting a referral for an ASD evaluation. An ASD evaluation is a comprehensive review of your child's behavior, communication skills, and developmental history. It's conducted by a team of professionals who specialize in development and behavior. Additionally, consider seeking early intervention services. These services provide essential support and can significantly improve your child's development. They can include speech therapy, occupational therapy, and social skills training, among others. In conclusion, navigating the possibility of ASD can be challenging, but remember, you're not alone. There are many resources and supportive communities available to help you and your child. Remember, every child is unique and develops at their own pace, but if you have concerns, don't hesitate to seek professional advice.